Hi, my name is Tony, and this is Every Frame of Painting. Here's a weird question. Have you ever watched a scene and thought, that's a great chair. I don't mean the chair would be great to own, though that would be nice. Just that somebody took the time to find the exact right chair for the story. And that attention to detail has paid off in some way. There are five different types of chairs in this hotel room. Holy fuck, what are they all doing in here? These are five different types of chairs. Get them out of here, man. Because in film, a chair is not just a chair. It's a piece of production design. And the type of chair you choose can say everything about the person and the world they inhabit. You know, uh, my papers, business papers. So let's shop around. If you'd like to see the names of the films, press the CC button below. Let's say you've already written a story. What use is something like this to you? Well, the first and most common use of a chair is as an extension of the world. This is how you and I see them every day. We think of them as part of the environment. But an audience can take one look at them and tell whether the world is bright and clean or a little more run down. Whether our characters have very little money or plenty of it. You can't sell leaf tables and no chairs. Chairs, you got a dinette set. No chairs, you got dick. Like all production design, the right chair gives us an entire world to imagine beyond the frame. Ugly little thing. Yet it has a certain appeal. The Lysa Aaron of chairs. And it also offers a very simple way to show power and hierarchy. The head of the monarchy, the captain of the ship, or the ruler of the whole empire. Welcome, young Skywalker. The second, and more unusual, use of a chair is as an extension of a particular character. For instance, you might have someone who's weak and insecure. I have so arranged that he will always be looking up at you. You looking down at him. <laughs> Very good. Who tries to keep other people down. And yet his plans are always challenged, and he can never be on top. Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. You like it? In other words, a chair can represent the psychology of a person. If they're vain, if they lack inhibition, or if they really like joysticks. And if you consider animation, you can push this even further by drawing chairs that resemble the character. Notice here how Carl's square head is similar to his chair, while Ellie's round head and ears resemble hers. After she dies, Carl keeps her chair nearby, so that every time we see it, we're reminded of how much he loved her. But the third option is probably the most widely applicable. A chair can be the extension of a situation. You believe that story? You believe that? In this scene from The Godfather Part 2, notice how Fredo tries to sit up. I've always taken care of you, Fredo. Taken care of me? But his chair won't let him. You're my kid brother and you take care of me? And the more he fidgets, the more powerless he looks. There was something about that chair that worked so great for the scene because he kept saying, you know, I'm your older brother and stuff like that. And the chair just kind of made him be so limp and springy and, and kind of just work great. The great thing about chairs is that they change the posture of the actors. Some chairs don't let them get comfortable at all. Others let them get too comfortable. Hello, Bernie. Hello, Tom. What's the rumpus? And others encourage them to be a little... Lofeld. Theatrical. None of these uses are mutually exclusive. In fact, the most fun happens when you start with one thing and end up with something else. In this scene from Playtime, listen to the sound the chair makes. It's a simple joke, but a few minutes later, that joke gets extended with two people and two chairs. And as the chair keeps reappearing in scene after scene after scene, it becomes a much larger joke about how modern people always buy the same damn chairs. This is what great production design can get you. That one detail that pays off in unexpected ways. And it doesn't have to be a chair. They're just very common and pretty cheap. Aye! But the next time you have a scene and you ask the actors to sit, consider this. What do they sit on? This isn't real. And is there a way for that object to be something more? <laughs>